Hej, siemanko, kolejska z tej strony, Maz, witam was serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku z gameplayami oraz trailerami i zaczynamy od uh, Sanguiro... Sanguivor 20 Below z Early Access Trailer. Sorki, ale nazwa jest ciężka, niesamowicie, więc uh, lećmy i zobaczmy, co tutaj jest ciekawego. Uuu, horrorek. Nie, to jest full play co-op jakiś. Full possible... O, czyli to jest... Mm, dobra, czyli to jest jakiś taki pewnie horrorek, ale taki... PvP. Day by daylight. Coś w tym stylu pewnie. Zdecydowanie to tak wygląda. Chyba, że to PvE, tylko właśnie ten w kropku. Tak, ciekawe, ciekawe. Jak to się nazywa? Sam Gubi. Tak mówiłem. Z NPC. Okay. Yes, <coughs> Spoko. Bulwark Falconer Chronicles. Jakiś taki dzisiaj zamówiony chyba jestem. Nie wiem czego. Budowane kurde miast na jakichś wyspach czy coś, ok. Conqueror's Blade Avalon. I will never forget that moment. When the sun fell and the sky went black. We will not fade in times of betrayal and strife. The brave must take up the sword, even if we should fall into darkness. We will be what we must. Great knights of the realm never forsake their vows. Yes, Sija. Who oh. budget oh, physics is real? I believe that every age has its heroes, and a new legend will be born. Medieval Dynasty Cop Abodejcik. So, 
You're looking for a fresh start? Let me tell you about a land called the Oxbow. The ground is fertile. Forests are full of strong trees and abundant in wild animals. It's a great place to settle down. People of the Oxbow will welcome you with open arms, but they might also need some help. Start with shelter, then expand. If you are brave enough, face the challenges of the Oxbow alone, or find a team to take care of each other. And as long as you stick together, you might be able to begin your own medieval dynasty. <laughs> Evil Nun, the Broken Mask. Oop. <laughs> okay. Parents crying from here. Don't worry. I'll take care of you as you deserve. It's useless to run away. Golf agra? Oh shit! Ah! Run for us, run! We'll meet the others soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, mommy. Oh, Jackie the Lion's 3. Official free content update 1.4. Ooh. Free update. I can now officially capitulate. Take me to your government. Ooh. Explore underground complex. Ooh. Underground transportation. Oh. <gasps> U, sporo zmodyfikowali widzę. Jest kolejka uruchomiona, new content patch. Uuu, new quest line with seven new maps. O kurde, nieźle, nieźle. Jakiś czas pewnie wrócimy. Vampire survival zigs among us. Nie zamknę w kozie. Otwórz piwnicy. I guess I live here now, if you'll just take my hand. Okay. Kaczki, lol. Beast, false prophet.
I'm giving up your war bind. Choose your tactics. On my way. Tread carefully. Oof. Ooh, double KO, nieźle. Jak go tutaj dźgnął w plery? Jak go tutaj przejechali? Hm. O, jaki obrzyganie, kurde. Pięknie. Rip out. What the hell? Co to za monster, który daje ścianę? Kurde. Susy same. The Kalisa Protocol, official player accolades trailer. No, my na szczęście mamy The Kalisa Protocolu zakończone. Dwadzieścia sześć i pół miliona punktów? Jesus Christ, nieźle. Ambitni tam gracze byli. Wayfinder.
5 na mojej broni. Uuu, fajne 4 siki. O, ponad 2000 fiksów i poprawek w różnej maści. To jest optymalizacja. Ciekawe, ciekawe. Eventide. Time melters. What? I don't understand. How is this even possible? Something strange is happening. Did we go back in time? That's a pretty neat trick. I have a strange feeling about this. I've dreamt of this. Let me show you my vision. Okay. Early access. Star rupture. Rozpad gwiazdy? Jestem bez nie? Strategia pewnie. Albo i nie strategia. Ciekawe. Takie na osiem. Cookie cutter? <laughs> Victor Garbanzos declared that the worthy would no longer fear death. We just never got the chance. Infonet came for us.
Okay, Black Desert Online Scholar Combat Gameplay. Wality mi o tym, jak nie wiem co. Dylan Dwasty Human Winter Tales. Oh, oh. Got a letter from one of you. Philidor hasn't been on my route for a while. Well, let's make up for lost time. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Lol. Let me check my list. This winter they're getting not infected. That got free. Not infected. Ghosted <laughs> will bring glee. His return back as Miko is a bit like. Post your letter to me, dear, and an airdrop will appear. But to become an elf and help me. <laughs> elf zombie. <laughs> <laughs> you need to decorate the tree. So this winter in Villador, they'll get something more. An update, an event, a deal full of content. Ho, ho, ho. Winter time. Zombie Christmas time. Play now. <laughs> okay. Bring light to Winter Tales Edition. Buy now. Okay. Black Desert Online. Oh, Scroll Cross Re Reveal. Oh, 
shall not return to where the sun arises from the west. Just try and stop me! Maybe you'll understand my fist better. Muted into gold? Could it be? Did gravity accelerate the particles? Oh. <laughs> you fused a gravity course. Even if you are me, I cannot let you. Oh. Ordinary gold would melt, but... Ciekawe przedstawienie postaci. Okej. Okay. <laughs> Kerbal Space Program 2. Słyszałem, że nie zła sieczka z, tym, z tą giereczką jest. Ale może coś poprawili. For science! For science, maggots! Lud River. A, to jest ta gireczka. New Psycho 12 minutowy trailer? Co to kurde jest? No to jest takie tam Zdecydowanie Welcome to New Cycle. New Cycle is a diesel punk city builder in which your decisions and actions will either help grow a new society after humanity's collapse or lead them to doom. 
The game will be coming to Steam as an early access title on January 18th. In this gameplay showcase, you will learn what it takes to build a thriving city in the post-apocalyptic world of Core Engage's debut game. Hmm. This video will be divided into three parts, with each section guiding you through the steps of creating a safe haven for your people. In New Cycle, Earth was struck by a devastating solar flare that destroyed all high-tech infrastructure in the blink of an eye. In the aftermath of this event, confusion turned into strife, global supply networks disintegrating into scarcity and disorder became absolute chaos, creating a chain of events that wiped almost all of humankind off the face of the earth within a few decades. Now it is up to you to start from the beginning and help humanity get back on its feet. Here we are at our new humble settlement with just 35 people and a few basic resources. We start off by giving our settlement a name and placing gathering camps as well as field camps in the nearby vicinity. In New Cycle, it is important to place those buildings where the resources are actually located. You can see the wood and stone sources popping up. This will help us to find the optimal spot for our field camps. While these structures are being built, we'll also need to dig wells to provide fresh water to your people. Now that we have water, we have to assign workers to our camps to gather the basic resources that will satisfy the needs of our people and give them hope for a better life. The same building can provide different resources like the gathering camp. However, initially we can only gather mushrooms. Even in these humble beginnings, you see the first production chains starting to form. Field camps provide wood for the lumber mill, so it can be processed to lumber for advanced buildings like the soup kitchen. Hey. But before you can do that, you have to rediscover lost knowledge. The early access release version of New Cycle will offer more than 50 buildings for you to discover. Once we have the knowledge and technology, we can build a soup kitchen that will use the water and the mushrooms we have gathered to make soup for our people. As you can see, our people have no issue with wandering through the wilderness to arrive at their camp in the woods. However, we can increase their productivity by building paths for them. We have wood, water, food, and stone, but what our people still need is shelter. We have entered fall, and the winter chill is coming quickly. During winter, there will be no more mushrooms to gather, so our people will have to survive with the food we have prepared. <clears throat> Thanks to good planning and preparation, we have survived the first winter. For the first time in decades, these humans feel hopeful and joyful for what the future oh, might bring. Podzielone. All thanks to you. Okay, dobra. Over time, refugees Przygotne. will join your settlement, children will be born, and your small community will grow. You have officially settled in hopes for a better life. Let's fast forward and have a look at a more advanced town. We made a jump in time, and our once small settlement has grown into a sizable town with dozens of inhabitants, each fulfilling their assigned role. Our town has entered a new era. We have working electricity, pubs, farms, and forges for manufacturing tools. And with that, a plethora of new resources to manage. As the town prospers and our technological knowledge grows, we'll need to decide how many hunter-gatherers we really need to maintain basic supplies. This is because our new and more advanced buildings need more staff and also better trained residents. 
With paper production, for the first time in decades, we have the power to educate our people by sending them to the training center. Some of them have the potential to become craftsmen or even specialists, enhancing the efficiency of advanced buildings like mines and tailors. In some cases, these buildings can only run if you place craftsmen or specialists in them. An example of this is the coal generator that generates electricity for our town. With the advancement of health care and growing wealth in your town, the needs of your people grow as well. They no longer accept living off simple soups or to run through the streets in torn rags. Your people demand a variety of meals, warm clothes, and proper health care. If these needs are not met, the morale of the entire settlement will deteriorate, potentially leading to devastating outcomes. Morale management plays a pivotal role in New Cycle. There are numerous variables to tweak in order to find the sweet spot between giving our people what they want while also keep the work efficiency up. Although the reality is not that blissful, from time to time there are glimmers of hope. We can complete tasks brought to us by our residents or welcome visitors in our town to get a quick morale booster for our people. But if things go south, we have to start enacting laws in order not to jeopardize our progress. Will you give your people more rights while slowing down your economic progress? Or are you enslaving them to ensure high production yields? The choice is yours. The morale of your residents is not the only challenge, because in the aftermath of the solar flare, Earth's nature got out of balance. Harsh winters, deadly sandstorms, severe droughts, and other catastrophes threaten the safety of your people. These natural disasters pose a constant threat to your fragile community's efficiency and health. And it seems there are even bigger catastrophes to come. Let's do one last jump forward in time and look how our city has progressed. It's been a few years now since we settled down in this region. We have overcome hunger, famine, and numerous long winters. Thanks to our planning and management, we have endured and grew into a thriving diesel punk metropolis. In this state of the game, we are managing more than 40 different resources at a time, and the production chains grew long. We have rediscovered forgotten technologies, and we started the process of automation in our city. One of the most important features of a flourishing city are the conveyor belts that significantly increase the speed of your production chains. Building these may mean that you have to reorganize your town to make room, but in the end, it will pay out as the efficiency of factories connected by conveyor belts will increase significantly. Optimizing production is one thing, but we also need a continuous supply of basic resources like wood, water, and iron. This proves to be challenging later in the game as almost all resources on our map are finite, and even the most basic resource like water can become scarce once another drought hits our town. This is where another exciting feature becomes most important, Ooh. expeditions and setting up a railway system. Early in the game, you get the opportunity to send out scouts in the surrounding area around your city. You never know what resources and opportunities your scouts will encounter on their journey. Maybe they'll find valuable resources that you can mine or a particularly rich hunting ground. But now that we have the technological knowledge, we start building a railway system that connects us and our people with the rest of the world. The train is one of the most important technologies to rediscover, and it takes a lot of resources to set up. But once you get the train rolling, you will see goods pouring in with incredible efficiency. 
Aside from the resources that can be found scattered in the world, it is also useful to explore surrounding areas as it will allow us to set up outposts and build watchtowers that will guide newcomers to our city. Even when the morale is up and the resources are coming in and the production chains are working, you should never let your guard down as new threats for your survival are looming behind every corner in New Cycle. In the end, it is up to you to care for your people, to make the right decisions, and to answer the question once and for all. Is there a future beyond survival? We hope that this glimpse into New Cycle gave you a better understanding of what the game is about. New Cycle will be coming to early access on January 18th, with more than 50 buildings to maintain over 40 resources to manage, and numerous technologies to rediscover. On release, the game will offer a sandbox mode in which you can build and grow freely, an exciting campaign, and three different biomes to explore, each with their own exciting mix of advantages and disadvantages. For example, if you choose the tundra biome, you will have to deal less yields from mining and hunting, but you will find particularly rich fishing grounds. While the sandbox and campaign mode will be available from the start, later the developers will also add multiple challenging scenarios while you'll take control of advanced settlements that are in dire need of help. Prepare to take drastic measures to save these cities from their demise. Yeah, go. No matter how you play, the developers at City Builder are looking forward to welcoming you to the world of New Cycle on January 18th, which is now on Steam, so you won't miss out on any future updates. Thank you for watching, and may you lead your people to prosperity. Like a dragon, infinite wealth. Oh, yeah, English dub. Everything's right back to how it used to be. I came here all the way from Japan. Yeah, actually, Captain Sawashiro sent me. Where all you want to do is scream for help, but you know no one will answer. That's a dark place to be. Instead of that, how about you stop running away from reality? <laughs> You're not getting the last laugh. If you think you're going out in style, you've got another thing coming. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> what did you expect? We're in it for the long haul. After everything, you really think we'd leave you to the dogs? How'd you even get involved in something like that? I thought you were here to meet your mom. Let's make this quick. One of our team needs first aid, now. You got one life, pal. Aim true, fire away. O, postaci przedstawiają. I confess, it's been too long since I've gotten so much sun. Just what I'd expect from you. Everywhere you go, you're able to attract the most dangerous foes and most reliable allies. I envy you. Sonny filled me in on the details, including those about your condition. <laughs> right, it's just a routine of ours. No need to worry. Seems we've all said what we can at this point. A good punch ought to shut him up. Do 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 do. Eric Tomasawa. Get out. Tomizawa. Tomizawa. Uh, let's hope this tours around trip situation, yeah? You didn't drag me into nothing. Yeah, I figure this is just part of getting my life together. Get in quick! Chito. 
Kasukasa. It's been a minute, Kasukasan. Hmm? How's Hawaii treating you? <laughs> you done spacing out over here? I envy you, you know. Huh? I want what you have. To live free. Actually, it turned out all right. If anything, that helps me earn their trust even more, so... There's still one more thing I've got to do, after all. Do, 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 do. The relic, the first guardian. Hello, everyone. This is Project Cloud Games. The relic. The first Guardian is a semi-open world action RPG that allows players to freely adventure like. in a fantasy world. In the game, you can enjoy the thrill of exploring an apocalyptic fantasy world and a variety of action-packed experiences. Today, along with the gameplay video, I will introduce some of the things you can experience in the world of the Relic. Before we start, there are five types of weapons that players can choose from which form the basis of the action. Each weapon has its unique skills, which can be changed according to your playstyle. Additionally, there are universal skills that can be used regardless of the weapon, allowing for a diverse skill setup. One-handed weapons and shields are specialized for integrated offense and defense, offering balanced gameplay. Shields provide stable protection, while one-handed weapons subdue enemies in front. Long swords possess a long reach and strong attack power. Special attacks activate an attack power buff, inflicting significant damage on enemies. Daggers enable rapid consecutive attacks, emphasizing agility. Players can skillfully dodge an attack, leading the combat flow. Battle staffs equipped with long reach employ gravity magic. While their attack speed is slow, each successful hit reduces the cooldown of skills. Two-handed weapons deliver powerful attacks, quickly draining enemy stamina. Though slow, their strong hits leave enemies defenseless, leveraging this trait in combat. In the Relic, characters do not have levels. Instead, runes, item, crafting, are used to strengthen the character. Players will embark on an adventure as guardians to collect the pieces of the great relics and close the void in the ruined continent of Arsilthus, which has been devastated by monsters called Brutal. Hmm. Please don't take it the wrong way. I'm just saying this because you might not know. Priest Egwis of this journey allows players to meet various people in different regions and experience intriguing stories. <laughs> players can confront enemies head on or gain an advantage using surrounding objects. With various situations arising from monsters, terrain, and weapon attributes, the game offers diverse gameplay experiences. During their adventures, players will encounter a variety of situations in different locations. Even in the same place, 
different scenarios can occur, oh, allowing for a more varied adventure. Mick, yeah, okay. Players will explore different regions, each with its unique atmosphere and experience different vibes within the same area, depending on the situation and location. Jeez, it's so damn wrong. As you adventure, your exploration naturally leads to dungeons. Inside the dungeons, there are various situations and powerful bosses. Clearing a dungeon will connect you to another place, allowing you to continue your adventure. Beyond what we introduced today, Look forward to discovering many bosses, rooms, combat, events, and other systems. The relic. The, relic. the first, the first guardian. guardian is currently under intensive development ahead of its release on the consoles and PC. Please look forward to more updates. No, że mówiłem, że Souls Like takie jest bardziej epic akcji moim zdaniem niż Souls Like, ale to no, są podobne elementy Souls Like. -a. Ciekawi mnie ten system bez poziomów, tylko ten sam system tych. Czy... Jakiś tam artefaktów czy coś w tym stylu. reliktów. Wracamy do Lega Dragon Infinity Wealth. Ale ładnie graficznie teraz wygląda. Zdecydowanie. You wouldn't stand a chance without me. As risky as it sounds, I guess we don't have much choice. Quit dicking around! Man up or shut up, Ichiban Kasuga! Hello, Angelski Dap. Okay, then why don't I lend you a hand? Huh? <laughs> what? I'm not invited? Well, hello there. <laughs> Taichi Suzuki son. Ooh, oh shit. How about this? Never thought we'd be going toe to toe with all three of you. Guys, just full of surprises, isn't it? Don't know if you meant this, but uh, you don't think you're flying solo, do you? Now let's finish this together, huh? Do 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 do. Overseas Spotlight. It ain't obvious. <laughs> I'm saying a fake can hold more value than even the genuine. Every minus to Kiko is that he has Polish names. Completely. Welcome to the Nirvana Hotel and our unannounced guest, Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Oh, you don't see his keys, yeah. Everything they touch, they encompass all doubts, all hesitations, and return them to the ashes. Masa Taka Ebina, the clan captain. As of this moment. The Yokohama Seryu clan is officially dissolved. Our biggest source of income right now is storing waste that can't be disposed of. As the Tojo clan fourth chairman, I'm sure you of all people understand the weight of Ayakuza's words. Still, you want to let your hate run wild, well... It 
falls on us to become the banner for Yakuza all over the country. Such a task requires the utmost prestige. If I'm being quite frank, their attempt to disband was a failure. Being a seasoned Yakuza myself, I believe it was a colossal blow to all of us. So then, that means I'd lost your trust some time ago, young master. Ooh, young master. Ciekawie, ciekawie. It's like a meat locker in here. So, these were the ones giving you grief. While it is true that Tomizawa here botched the job all by himself, the car he got impounded belongs to my syndicate. If only that were the case. Unfortunately, this tropical weather does nothing for me. Nobody understands. In other words, we're all outcasts here. Mm -hmm. Le mama. Only thing my enemies get is a lesson in pain. That's how it works in Komi Jewel. In fact, it's almost like he was sending an SOS. What's your problem? What do you have against the Yakuza? <sighs> See? <sighs> I wouldn't call helping a stranger out nosy. That man is no thief. Who you should be arresting is the driver. All that's left of your envelope is on there. I didn't think to back up that image, so if they take my laptop, <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. Quit playing game. Oh, there you are. I was starting to get bored. Huh. Kazuma Kiryu. Long time no see, Kasuga. So if you're gonna take us out now, get ready to carry that weight. For the rest of your life. But you're right about turning a new leaf. As long as you stick to it, you'll find yourself in a better place. Me? I'll take on the Yakuza's past. Let's say we set off on another adventure. Yeah, Mr. Hero? If I'm being honest, I think part of me has been waiting for this day for a long time. This ain't the first time. It sure as hell ain't the last. Quit acting so tough. We're not gonna leave our friend out to dry like that. Nice, 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 nice. Ale ludziskom, dobry na mieliśmy do końca tego odcineczka, także dzięki wielkie jak zwykle za oglądanie. Widzimy się już niedługo w kolejnych. Trzymajcie się.